Hey everyone, Chuck from Chuck Wagon MTG here. We got another booster box opening for you today, and today we're bringing you Hour of Devastation. Opening up another one of these bad boys. Uh, fun set all the way around, still loving it. And uh, yeah, we're having a good old time. Let's see what kind of good stuff we can pull out of this here. Uh, but I'm, I'm personally, I'm digging the set, having fun. And uh, that's kind of what this channel is all about. The crack packs, we have fun. I mean, we occasionally do something with that uh, Magic the Gathering game, but aside from that, all right, here we go. On to pack number one. Let's see if we can get a strong start to this. Per usual, we're going to go ahead and skip past all of the commons and get straight to the nitty gritty of the uncommons. We have Senua. Oh, let's get back in focus here, Chuck. We can do this. <clears throat> okay. We have Senua Striker. Struggle and Strive. Or Struggle and Survive. Sand Strangler. And Amit Eternal. I love that card. And we got a Full Art Forest. I'm a big fan of Amit. Uh, I just... For what he does, I think in standard he's a... Uh, He's kind of an all-star. All right, we have Hashep Oasis, Consign and Oblivion, Abraid, and Salminity. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce that. Love that card. Good stuff. No poison counters for you. Yeah, good stuff. All right. We have a Fervent Paincaster. Overcome, If Near Deadlands, and Driven and Despair. And we got the horse token. I wonder if that means we're going to get the horse god. That would be awesome. Horse tribal is a thing. All right. We have Magmaroth, Gideon's Defeat, Vile Manifestation, and Reason and Believe. we can pull out of this. Ooh, I think we got a shiny. We have Supreme Will. Farm and Market. Burning Fist Minotaur. Endless Sands and a Foil Firebrand Archer. Alright. We have a Merciless Eternal. Manticore Eternal, Doom Diviner, and Champion of Wits, along with a Full Art Island. Not many Full Arts in this I'm seeing, although you can check out some of the other videos I have for the set and uh, see the weird pattern I had for a couple different boxes. Uh, yeah, just go check out the videos. Just see, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, we have Anissa's Defeat. Shafet Dunes, Torment of Scarabs, Swarm Intelligence, and a Full Art Planes. Alright, oh, I think we got another foil. We have Doomfall, Resolute Survivors, Struggle and Survive. Refuse and cooperate, and oh, I was incorrect. It is a full art mountain, though, but I believe that is two or three packs in a row. I wonder if we're going to hit that little thing that we had with the other boxes. Might be something to it. All right, we have Farm and Market, Quarry Beetle, Sand Strangler, and Fring Sanity. And no full art, so that scratches that. All right, we have a Gideon's Defeat, Jace's Defeat, Consign and Oblivion, and our first mythic of the box is the Scarab God. He's uh, probably one of, I think, the strongest of the gods. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that, that he kind of takes a cake for uh, strength, uh, playability-wise. Um, although I am, 
uh, a little biased towards Scorpion God. I really like the Scorpion God. All right, we have Merciless Eternal. Riddle form, consign and oblivion, and hour of revelation. Love that card. Board wipe. And EDH, probably a cheap board wipe because uh, 10 or more non land permanents is pretty easy to hit in EDH. All right, we have Sifter Worm. If near Deadlands, Vile Manifestation, and our second mythic is Neheb the Eternal. This guy did a little bit of work for me during pre-release. And we got a full art forest. One third of the way through the box. Not real impressive yet, but we still have some to go. It could still turn around. We have imaginary threats. Bloodwater Entity, Obelisk Spider, and Chaos Maw, and a foil Bloodwater Entity. That's kind of nice. <clears throat> all right into our second pile here see if we can get some more good stuff resolute survivors a braid saving grace and our third mythic overwhelming splendor this card is pretty dang good edh written all over it and then limited if you can get it out it's just kind of a win <laughs> Next one here, we have the guy, I always slaughter his name, River Hoopo. Hopefully I got it right that time. Hope Tender, Ominous Sphinx, and Hour of Devastation. All right. I'm a fan of that card. I really am. Red board wipes that get rid of indestructible. Sign me up. All right. We have Ipnu Rivlet, Doomfall. Obelisk Spider, and our fourth mythic of the box, Nicobolas God Pharaoh. Not too bad. Our box just got a little bit better. All right. Let's see if we can continue this trend of getting better. Farm and Market, Dune Diviner, Ifmir Deadlands, and Bantu's Last Reckoning, I'm not fueling that card. I just, I guess in standard it might do, it might be a thing. Um, just because board wipes you know, always have their place in standard, but um, that's a hell of a drawback for destroying all creatures. I don't know. I could be wrong though. That could be just the most amazing card ever. All right, we have Ferberant Paincaster, Sun Scourge Champion, Eternal of Harsh Truths. And Pride Sovereign. And, ooh, we got a Foil Abandoned Sarcophagus. That's fun. That makes me happy. That card, uh, I don't know, that's, that's got some potential. That definitely has some potential. All right, we have Crook of Condemnation. Vizier of the Anointed. Unraveling Mummy, so good. And Rumin Up Excavator. All right, we have Accursed Horde, Steward of Solidarity, Dunes of the Dead, and Torment of Hailfire. I like that card. Another one of those has EDH written all over it, but I mean, it even. In some kind of ramp deck, that could probably do something. Uh, even in standard. So, oh, I think we have another foil. We have Hope Tender, Ipnu Rivulet, Bane Whip Punisher, and our rare is, oh, my favorite guy, the Scorpion God. All right, another mythic. What's that? That's five for the box. We're doing better than average. And we did get a foil Aven of Enduring Hope and a full art swamp. 
Hey everyone, this seems like a good point to take a break and talk about our Fat Pack giveaway. Now don't mention this in the comments or anything because I want to see this prize go to one of the people who actually watch my videos. So here's how you're going to enter. After watching this video, send us a private message here on YouTube, on Facebook, or on Twitter with your full name and the state you live in. This will only be used to keep track of entries and will not be posted, shared, or saved in any way. International members are welcome to join, but may be required to pay some shipping costs. Then, on September 19th, 2017, we will draw the winner. That person will get their choice of either an Amonkhet, Hour of Devastation, or Shadows over Innistrad Fat Pack. Thank you very much for watching, and good luck. Alright, cutting past, we have a Chandra's Defeat. Uh, Ramanop Ruins, Ominous Sphinx. And our rare is Dijuru with eyes open. That guy could be interesting. I'm not sure how I feel with him about him. Um, I mean, he does fetch waters, so I mean that that's kind of a thing. So yeah. All right, we have appeal and authority, sifter worm, vizier of the true, and a hallowed one as. Our rare, and then we did get a Thorned Moloch. Moloch? Moloch. So, yeah. <laughs> I love slaughtering names. I'm good at it. All right. Let's see. Last pack of the second pile. We have a Bloodwater Entity, Crypt of the Eternals, Deserts Hold, and Grind and Dust. And I just put all those in the wrong pile. There we go. All right. We got one stack left to take this from being uh, an okay box and make it a great box. This is, there we go. All right. Yeah, it's definitely not a bad box, um, but it could use to be a great box. That would be nice. Rhea, we have Razaketh's right. Chandra's Defeat, Shafet Dunes, and Dream Stealer with a Foil Dune Diviner and a Full Art Island. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, we have Angel of the God Pharaoh, Imaginary Threats, Liliana's Defeat, and hey, we got a Semet, Semet the Tested. Uh, oh, and we got two full arts, one being foil. Not a bad pack. <clears throat> I mean, I am kind of disappointed in Summit. Um, just wasn't what I was expecting. But, I mean, hey, it's a walker, it's a mythic. Sure. And the foil island is a very nice touch. So what is that? It's one, two, six mythic so far. I mean, I'll take that. We have Sinuous Striker, Unraveling Mummy, Ramanop Ruins, and Hazret's Undying Fury. And then we get a Full Art Forest. All right, we have a Sun Scourge Champion, Riddle Form. Put one too many cards? I did. <laughs> I'm like, we're missing an uncommon. We got Quarter Beetle. And then we have Apocalypse Demon with a Full Art Mountain. With what, three packs now of the Full Art Mountains? I don't know. Make sure I didn't do it again. Okay, I didn't. Because we have had that happen before. Missing uncommons and whatnot. Unconventional tactics. Crypt of the Eternals. Claim and Fame. And Hour of Promise. And then we did get a Full Art Swamp. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Sorry about that, folks. We have Sunset Pyramid. Accursed Horde, Inferno Jet, and Scavenger Grounds. 
and no floor that time around. So no pattern in, the, in this box. All right, we have Chef Oasis, Devotee of Strength, Dunes of the Dead, and God Pharaoh's Gift. Disappointment. I was really hoping for more. Well, I remember the name of the card that uh, that was an Amonkhet that mentioned this. You got to look for it. So I was all sort of excited, and then we saw it, and it's like, I guess so. <laughs> All right, we have a Magmaroth, Tenacious Hunter, Deserts Hold, and Imminent Doom. Three packs left. I mean, I can't complain about the number of Mythics we've gotten. I really can't. So uh, this has been a good box. I'm going to call this a good box. We have River Hoopo, a Braid, Shafet Dunes, and Hour of Eternity. Out of here. All right. Think we have a full? No, we don't. We might. I don't think we do. We have Chandra's defeat, Angel of the God Pharaoh, Overcome, and Resilient Kenra. Last pack. Come on, something crazy. We have Crypt of the Eternals, Razaketh's Rite, Unraveling Mummy, and Ramanup Hydra. And we did get a foil, uh, not full art of planes. So let's go ahead and recap what we got here. Um, price wise, I'm always off on this stuff. So let's see, we got, uh, we did get the Hydra. Uh, at my door, something I'm not entirely sure. Imminent Doom, no. Uh, scavenger Grounds, maybe. Um, Dreamcaster, I think, is good. Uh, that one, Hollow Dust, or Hollowed One, I think that's good. Um, maybe, I don't know. I think that guy is something. Hour of Devastation, thank you. Hour of Revelation, take that. So in these, uh, I could be wrong. Um, I think I think those two are something, but uh, I know this one is, but um, I don't know. We'll see. So that's what we did with the rares. As for foils, we got the foil basic planes, uh, the foil full art island, which I'm happy about. Uh, Doom Diviner, Thord Malash, Malak, sure. Uh, the Avon of Enduring Hope, we did get the ab Abandoned Sarcophagus, Foil Rare, and then Bloodwater Entity and Firebrand Archer. And then for Mythics, we did get a Semet, we got a Nicobolas, that's kind of nice, a Scorpion God, a Scarab God, Neheb and Overwhelming Splendor. Overall, I can't complain about the box. You got six Mythics. Um, that's above average, so I'm happy. Uh, yeah, that's what we got. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, if you hated what you saw, comment down below. Let us know what you liked or you hated. Um, you know, click the like button and subscribe. Don't be afraid to share us with your friends. Uh, don't forget we have the contest going to where once we hit 50 YouTube subscribers, we're going to be giving away a fat pack. So the more you share and the more you get it out, the quicker we can fire that thing off. And it's going to be free to enter. So, I mean, what more could you ask for? Uh, anyways, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG.